What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by your voice actor, Wes. Hi. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. Uh, if you see any fits of anger, extreme stress, or ugly crying, it's because I have four different tabs open with the midterm results. Folks, if you like this stream, you can catch it and many more on twitch.tv slash save data team, including, uh, for example, our new D&D stream series called uh, Saving Throw, which will be up on YouTube later this week. And well, if you want to go over to patreon.com slash save data team, we really appreciate that. Uh, just two bucks a month gets you access to the full VOD channel of every single stream we do. Five bucks a month gets you access to voting on one of our variety streams each month, as well as get your name included in the aforementioned D&D series. Uh, and the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bomb, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Dave, Paul, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn, Wake, Pro, Knight, Danny, and the Lester, Kevin, Asian, shout out, Navi. Shout out to Jacob, Wells, Taco, Sensei, Aki, Forensic, Peck, Nicole, and Mystic, Woody. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Shout out to Lebrishan, Fine Logo goes at Belly, Don't forget Sheberstein, and Real Life Jolly! Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all, gotta thank em all our Patreons! Before we uh, start, uh, the stream. Oh, yeah. Wes, you have something yeah. cool to show. So, uh... This is my new toy. This is an... This is a brand new uh, electric cello that I actually purchased very recently for a show that I'm doing uh, called Lizard Boy. Uh, it's a new musical written by Justin Huertes. Uh, it was commissioned out of Seattle, but it's being performed at the No Theater of Cincinnati, which is why I'm in town. Uh, I was hired to be a cellist and to do some like acting shit for it. The show is actually being live streamed, so if you all wanted to tune in, if you want to watch, feel free. I would obviously love to have some Save Data peeps hang out, watch the watch the show. It's being streamed uh, starting on November 17th, which I believe is either Thursday or Friday. Uh, and it lasts until the middle of December. Uh, shows are Wednesdays through Sundays. But yeah, if you all want to check it out, you can watch me play the cello. Uh, it's really good. It's like indie folk music meets a story about like self-identity. It's very queer, like, really really funny it's it's a really nice like queer vo queer coded superhero story uh but it's really cool so if you all want to check it out please feel free it's really fun so that was all i just wanted to show off my cool new toy and let you all know that i'm doing some theatery stuff if you want to check it out but let's get into the game there you go exact signature catchphrase <laughs> I was like, what is my catchphrase? But I do say that every week. You're all right. Okay. We're going to the brokery. Well, somebody said go to the go to Baker Street first. Oh, there's literally nothing here. Okay. Yeah, we, we can look as oh, there's the pawn broker. That's, yeah, that's it. Wow, this is lit. This is literally Professor Layton music. Well, yeah, we can look is. to the right, can't we? Maybe oh, you're right, you're right. right. Sorry. Look at all the different things in the windows of this shop. Ah, that's Windebanks, the pawnbrokery. Looks much smarter than a pawnbroker's in Japan, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. I find pawn shops at home rather inapproachable, personally. It reminds me of tearfully parting with my favorite fountain pen. Felt so miserable. Damn, the Ryan backstory. Yo, what fucking boomer has a favorite fountain pen? <laughs> what, God damn. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger, Mr. Narahodo. I mean, I have a favorite type of pen. If I have to use anything else, I get sad. 
But that's a type of pen, not like this is my pen. That's true. I did. I did have somebody buy me like a fancy fountain pen once. Ooh. I think when I turned eighteen, like it was a friend of my dad's. Nice. And he was like. I remember You're when I was 18, and I got my favorite fountain pen, and I <laughs> cherished it forever. And I was like, I'm never going to use this. Do you I, still have it? No. <laughs> I mean, I kept it for a few years, but then I moved, and I was like, I'm I, not using this. Um, yeah, it's wild. This this exact scene looks straight uh, out of Professor. I'm Lee. dead. That, that, yeah, this is, this is Sholmes' house. Yep. And here's the pawn shop. There's the pawn broker. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. No, it's all just one thing. There's not individual. Actually, I don't even know if anything else in the scene is observable. Probably Sholmes' apartment is. Oh. I've investigated thoroughly. No. Yeah. No. This is you not. You really happened. It's already been two months since we started taking lodgings here above Mr. Sholmes' office. It's actually a pretty nice place. Not yeah, lie. it's super cute. It's a lot <laughs> it cuter than nice, I am. Yes. A lot of windows, you know? A lot of taxes. Oh, wow, yeah. They pay. I was say, they're paying a lot of money for that place. <laughs> but I still can't quite believe it. I never expected things would turn out like this. Oh, I know. To actually be sharing accommodation with the world's greatest detective. If I ever find myself before a court of law now, I will have not one regret. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd be happy to defend you, of course. Oh, well, I just think that now is the perfect time to murder. Right. Oh no, they've got ha Haunted Doll Watch. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, last time I made a reference that we, we, we do have a uh, content warning for a character we're going to meet here. Oh, no. This is me repeating it again, because we will definitely meet them now. Oh. And they will make several jokes about unaliving themselves. So, oh, you know, no. be ready for that. Oh, God. Jeez. I'm a pawnbroker, eh? Facts. So, this is a British pawnbroker. Oh, my. There are all sorts of tools and contraptions in here that I've never laid eyes on before. Ah, oh, Susato-san, and that spark of wonder in your eyes. You can't wait to scour the shelves, can you? No, that's the glaucoma. <laughs> Fortunate. I get, the <laughs> I get the impression you enjoy places like this. Oh, yes. I don't know why, but seeing such a lot of things I don't understand is a real thrill for me. I loved watching Lost. <laughs> My dear fellows, let us not forget why we are here. Oh, Mr. Sholmes, you changed rather fast. <laughs> we are calling on matters of business, not pleasure. Did his punch, like, go through her model? It did. <laughs> He's literally... <laughs> Ow! What the hell? That's incredible. No, I'm just going right behind her. Just going right behind her. <laughs> I know, I know, but... That is very funny to me. <laughs> Clearly, Mr. Sholmes means business, too, judging by the spark of fury in his eyes. These are my fists of fury. Shadow boxing. Yo, look at this jabroni. Aww. I like this guy, a little redhead guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Sholmes, sir. Welcome back. Did you hear that brazen welcome? Well... Yes, we are potential customers, after all. We are disgruntled customers, Mr. Naraheda, and it's time to inform Mr. Winderbank of our ire. Shumps, please don't become a Karen. I'd like to speak to the manager. <laughs> a good thing that's the owner. <laughs> Come, the fight is afoot. Holy shit, people in the chat are saying, is this Grossberg's ancestor and holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Does he also have a hemorrhoid issue? <laughs> Did they even know what hemorrhoids? I'm sure they knew about hemorrhoids back then, but... But did they, have, did they even have the Harlem Shake? They, they certainly didn't have Preparation <laughs> they H. Certainly, uh, they certainly... No, they had, no it, this is British. This is Britain. They had Preparation H. H. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, get at me. That was good. They've got hate in their hearts and H in their butt. <laughs> 
That was a good joke. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, you will recall this, which I, you will recall this, which I retrieved from you some days ago. Uh, uh, yes. Uh. This second-rate fiddle is not my faithful instrument, Mr. Windebank. The color of the wood is different. It has holes in it. It's not even the same size. A wonderful summary of our observations, Mr. Chums. I'm, I'm so very sorry, sir. How utterly unforgivable of me. An inexcusable mistake for a pawnbroker. There was only one way to make amends. I'm going to run. Wait, does he have a gun? What the fuck? Jesus okay. Christ. Okay, game. <laughs> well, here's, okay. that, here's that content warning, I guess. Holy that's fuck! That's a zero to a hundred <laughs> in one point one seconds. Yo! <laughs> no hesitation. Dude's oh. about to cap himself. Well, oh my I'm god! I'm so impressed that they drew the animation of this man running, grabbing a gun, and running back. And oh! Then this. this is who this... wrote this character? This is that that's some like rotoscoped fucking Joel Haver bullshit that yeah. I just watched. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my oh, god. I'm sorry, baby. Did you get scared? Holy <laughs> shit, that was so funny. Oh my god, I'm so glad I blind reacted to that. <laughs> Woo. Uh, I shall have to take my own life. Also, terrible trigger discipline. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to shoot himself. I guess that's not I don't think that will be necessary, do you? If I may just say one thing before I pop off. Chat, we're about to pop off. We're <laughs> popping off in the chat. Let me see all those fat bits in the <laughs> chat, please. <laughs> who wants to get oh, the, big who wants to be the player of the game? Poggers. Poggers in chat. Before I pog off. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it was you, sir, Mr. Sholmes, who took it upon himself to remove the item the other day, I believe. Uh, sorry. As I recall, I entered the storeroom to fetch your violin when I heard, ah, here it is. You did? And when I turned to controvert you, you had taken the viola and left, sir. However, there can be no doubt that the blame lies firmly at my own door for allowing you to leave. So I shall not grumble or grouse any longer. May this guilt die with me! No, no, no! <laughs> Stop, my dear fellow, the fault is mine! Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Whew, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> It would appear that the fight is over. I do humbly apologize, Mr. Windebank. Evidently, my questionable disposition precipitated this tragedy. Well, you wouldn't be Mr. Herlock Sholmes without that questionable disposition now, would you? <laughs> Damn, dunk time. Wow. Is this guy gaslighting us? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I do believe you may I mean, be right, well, sir. I have a questionable disposition. I feel like that's not gaslighting. <laughs> right, that's true. Damn. Just spitting facts. But is that gaslighting bridge? What? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. It's either laugh or cry, I suppose. Eat, pray, laugh, cry. <laughs> you are, it must be said, one of my more challenging customers. I needn't remind you of the peculiar collection of items you've brought through my door in the past. Oh, peculiar items? In the extreme, Mum. For example, the unpublished manuscript of an eponymous work, the novels of Herlock Sholmes or some such. Oh my, 
a new full-fledged novel and unpublished a first edition a story I have yet to read you mean ah forgive stop. me stop please <laughs> wait before you die you must tell me more Susato and then after you tell me go ahead and do it I don't care stop <laughs> yeah what the fuck? I must know more. Tell me everything. Wow. Susato-san is really fired up now. And this guy's about to fire up himself. Is there really an, an unpublished story under this very roof? Well, one day the gentleman here brought in an old metal chest, you see. I should like to entrust this to your care for a while, Mr. Winterbank. Hmm. For a chest like that, uh, one shilling, sir. Not a farthing more. It houses something of very great value indeed. The latest manuscript recounting the adventures of one Mr. Herlock Sholmes. I beg your pardon? A manuscript? You wish to deposit a manuscript? Okay, I do love this animation, actually. It's pretty good. <laughs> Indeed I do, for I am confident it will be quite safe here. And that was that. As such, Mr. Sholmes's latest tale of otherworldly mystery lies dormant in my storeroom. Mr. Sholmes? Is that really true? Do I sense that someone doesn't want to talk about this? I continue to pay your fee, do I not? Then kindly continue to store my belongings. Securely. Of course, sir, of course. They're safe and sound with me, I assure you! Oh. This is all very strange. I wonder, could I ask you something? A gentleman from the east, I see. Yes, that sable suit. I suppose I could offer you sixpence for it. Without wishing to offend, the tone is somewhat dull. Okay, you didn't need to read my drip, guy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Aha! But for your splendid attire, Mum, five guineas, no less. Five guineas? The, the guinea pigs! The furriest that I have to offer you. The colours are exquisite. The design exotic. Eastern artistry at its finest, may I say. Oh my. Five guineas, you say? How interesting. Why do I feel as though I've suffered some sort of defeat here? Damn, she's giving you like a... Mm. Yeah. I got I got more drip. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Check out my Air Jordan. I'm sorry, my Brian. Generic, what school uniform or whatever <laughs> isn't as good as your nicely made outfits? Mm. You're wearing you're wearing New Balance, and I'm wearing Adidas. <laughs> but no one's wearing Yeezys because no one sells them anymore. <laughs> say Ryan ripped off the short. Shows. Ryan Ryan with his uh, dad jeans on, fucking. Hey, listen, dad jeans are hot now. Actually, they kind of are back in, which yeah, is dad weird. dad jeans are in now. Actually, I was hoping to ask about your business. I know it's not my business, but I've heard it said that pawnbrokeries are rather like banks here in London. Yes, sir, indeed. Many of my customers utilize the establishment as you describe. I appraise their items and offer them a proportionate loan and two months of secure stowage. If in that time they repay the original sum to me plus the agreed interest, their items are happily returned. But what happens if they don't pay you the money? Oh, well you've seen what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> then the items are offered for sale in my shop. As you can see, let's say I, my own head is the only isn't the only person I point this gun at. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see on the shelves behind me. Oh my God! What? Look at the right, the middle right hand side of the screen. The 
The statues? Yeah. What is that statue oh my God. of? One of them is a thinker. Oh, oh shit! God. Ah, there's a murder weapon in here. <laughs> Holy shit! The original think. Honestly, this is just uh, this is a fan fiction waiting to happen. Right here. <laughs> this is what inspired Larry, not you know the actual thinker. No, honestly, I think I think that thinker statue. This is like the mummy. That thinker statue has been around since ancient, <laughs> since ancient Grecian times, since yeah. the reign of Emperor Diocletian, <laughs> and fucking it's yeah, we made its way. Up in here. Wow, yeah. <laughs> it's it's made its way to Great Britain, and soon it's gonna make its way across the ocean and into the hands of Larry Butts, and God it's damn. it's cursed to murder. That's incredible. So you never sell items before the two months has passed, then? That's right, Mum, that's right. Which means some considerable responsibility rests on my shoulders. My very tiny shoulders. Should a customer's precious belongings be lost, the only recompense is for me to end it all! The very idea, Mr. Winterbank, is an absurdity. One should never talk of one's demise so casually. Says the man who was telling us all it was a good day to die only this morning. Yes, but I was saying it like, it's a good day to die. <laughs> and let us not forget that I have already helped you take measures to ensure such a tragedy never occurs. Oh, well, what sort of measures? I engineered a simple device which Mr. Winderbank has installed here in his shop. I call it the Red-Handed Recorder. Is that not so, Mr. Winterbank? Wow, I can't wait for the results of this machine to be relevant to whatever the case we're solving is. <laughs> Red-handed recorder. I shall force grade school students to play Damn hot yes. cross buns on it for all time. God. Zach, can you add in the edit of uh, someone playing the and yep. My Heart Will Go On? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it exists for this game's music, but there is a recorder version of the Ace Attorney cornered theme. Oh, so incredible. Uh, That's so fantastic. I'll throw that in if, if, if you're not, yeah. <sighs> what was that deep sigh about? Also, uh, this is, you know, I, I, it's not me trying to be like, oh, this is what the voice you're doing makes me think of. Oh, yeah, no, please. Uh, it's, I mean, all in voices for are sure, inspired for sure. by somebody For else. sure. Uh, it is 100% almost dead on the leader of the union in... Ah, uh, oh, Mr. Dubois. Yes, that's exactly yeah. what it is. <laughs> that's exactly who I'm doing. Holy shit. I didn't even think about that. But I love that's, that. That is, fantastic. that is exactly the voice I'm doing. All right. Let's hear about the red-handed recorder. What on earth is a red-handed recorder? Use your eyes, my dear fellow. There are two just below the ceiling. What? Oh, it's a freaking... We're going to get video footage. Incredible. It's a camera. Incre I can see what appears to be a camera attached to some sort of timing device. Very astute. It is indeed a camera furnished with some hundred pieces of celluloid film. And every 30 minutes, precisely, the camera automatically records the appearance of the shop, which will definitely not be used in a court of law later today. <laughs> Here I have an example I can show you. Oh my god, yeah, that's absolutely going to be relevant. Holy wow. shit. Yeah, no, they're, uh, they're, they're just... They're like, hey, here's this camera system with a time setting. Uh -huh. with a, It'll give you an accurate record of everything uh -huh. as it happens. Ah, yes, a print from the camera set to record the activity at the shop counter. I developed a special type of film so sensitive it produces a crystal clear image even in darkness. Shams, did, did you invent... HD film, yes. <laughs> that can film in the dark. <laughs> really? That's extraordinary. Yes, you can clearly see the counter and the door behind it. Look. Yeah, that's like genuinely bonkers, yo. So, you see, were someone to enter the premises with ill intent, his identity would be summarily exposed. 
Only if it was taking a picture if they were standing there when the 30 minute time frame that it was taken. <laughs> but did you not say that the photographic prints were taken at 30 minute intervals? Indeed, as you say, my dear madam. That kind of That's seems... why we have a sign that says stand here for 30 minutes. For 30 minutes, especially if you've stolen something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you'll get a prize. And you'll get a prize. <laughs> Then it's the prize is jail. <laughs> <laughs> then what if the incident were to occur in between times? Possible. One could only say that would be a cruel twist of fate. Okay. What? Hmm. I must confess your devices have been giving me some cause for distress of light. I beg your pardon, Mr. Winterbank. Surely they are anything but distressing? Reassuring is the word. Probably somebody in the chat says the frame rate is one out of one, uh, one out of eighteen hundred frames per second, which is really good to me. <laughs> it's the cost of a film, sir. Well, mo you most graciously place not one but two cameras in my shop, after all, which means I must pay for nigh on one hundred utterly useless prints every single day. I'm afraid the cost of the film will break me before I'm very much older. Uh, nevertheless, a small price to pay to ensure the safety of my preferred pawnbrokery, no? My dear fellows, we verge on an age where safety and security come at a price. Oh, heaven help us! Now then, Mr. Sholmes, allow me to return your precious violin. Oh, ah, the very something. thing! Thank you, Mr. Winderbank. Yeah, it's genuinely, it's been a minute. I genuinely forgot why we came here. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's been murdered while we're here. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Well, Pridge, give it two more seconds. Yeah. Perhaps this might mark the end of the peculiar items you try to pop, hmm? Because if anything were to happen to one of them, this would be the only answer. Window bank. Um, I really think you ought to stop waving that gun around. Someone could get hurt. Fear not. Sorry. I've only loaded a single bullet, so no one but myself could possibly be harmed. That's not really what I meant. Is this... He's going to die, isn't he? Good day to you then, Mr. Winterbank. It's been a pleasure as always, Mr. Sholmes. So, Mr. Norahoda, now we can explore at last. Okay, what are we buying? I mean, I gotta, yeah. I gotta know if oh, there's a wow. joke. Come on, please. What an assortment of things there are on the shelves here. Crockery, footwear, clocks and watches. Almost anything you care to imagine. Crockery, footwear, crocs for your feet. Bed, bath, <laughs> beyond. <laughs> Those are forfeited items offered for sale by the pawnbroker. What does that really mean, though? When you pawn, or colloquially, colloquially pop, an item, the broker loans your money against its worth. He stores the item for an agreed period of time, after which the loan must be repaid. If not, he is free to display it in his shop for sale at a price of his choosing. Oh, yes. <clears throat> now that you've explained it, I'm noticing a little, l noticing little price tags on everything. Of course, simply by paying the of course, simply by paying the agreed interest on the loan, one can extend the period of safekeeping. So you may pawn that black garb of yours without fear, my dear fellow. My treasured university uniform? Never! It embodies my student spirit. Ra 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 shish boom ba Kick him in the dishpan. Yeah, roo roo roo. roo. <laughs> Kick him in the dishpan. Oh, oh, oh. I fucking love that. Curse the Cowardly Dog <laughs> it's bit. It's such a good reference. So Holy funny. Shit. Oh, shit. Also, I'm like, I want to angle the webcam down just a teensy bit without him noticing. 
but he is laying down, but he refuses to let his head sink into the box. So he is like angling his head almost upwards at 90 degrees, but he is so tired. He's like, I don't, he just refuses to put his head entirely in the box. Anyways. You little monster man. Okay, I guess the dolls are nothing. Dolls are nothing? Now, what do you suppose this rather enormous machine does? It seems to have two little windows for looking through. Allow me to enlighten you, my dear fellows. What you are looking at is a stereoscope. A stereoscope? Fascinating! It is aptly named, I assure you. Look through the eyepieces and see for yourself. Oh, I should be delighted to. Excuse me a moment while I just have a look. Just before you do, there is something I should point out. If you look in there, you die. <laughs> in seven days, <laughs> my dear fellows, in order to see the image properly, stereoscopically, as it were, you will need to be cross-eyed. However, if that is beyond you, it is of little consequence today. What? Uh, all right then, I'm going to try it. Aw, oh, that's cute. Ah! Mr. Narahoto, you must see at once! Uh, oh, all right then. So I need to be cross-eyed, like I'm trying to look at my own nose. Was this, was this a bit on the 3DS that they did? Was that the whole joke here? No, because this was re-released for the not 3 ds so they wouldn't have kept that in if that was the case. Wow, it's so realistic. True, yeah, true. What the? I, I don't believe it. It's just a photographic print, but it seems like you could reach out and touch it. Yes, the sense of depth is startling, is it not? Stereoscopes are one of London's many fads. They're often found in little stalls in the park. People queue for hours to see them. Why? Why are people meddling with such black magic? Oh shit, uh, Croissant in the chat, Cheer 10 bit saying, in the 3DS version, Shomes literally tells you to turn on your 3D for this part. Oh, oh okay, that's, that's cute. cool. That's cute. That's very good. Why well, keep it in if this is being released for the non-3DS? I, I imagine because it's It's still important. relevant to the case. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. <laughs> it is no magic, my dear madam. It is, well, technology. Oh. Uh, far too complicated to explain at present. We shall save this lesson for another day. Shums, if you don't know how it's explained, then you don't... Yeah. <laughs> you can just say you so. You can just say you don't know. <laughs> oh... I mean, I wait, is like it they're... April 1st? I think it's 13. Ah, oh, 15. Damn. <laughs> that would be incredible. I know. <laughs> That's not a calendar you could easily miss, is it? 15th of April. Today's date. Yes, that's not for sale, I must point out. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. It is an Eastern style page a day calendar. Every night at midnight, I tear off the front page to reveal the following day's date. Yeah, I guess... that before midnight, bro. I get... I guess that's true. Yeah, we, like, places in the West don't really do that. The perfect calendar for a tearaway fellow such as yourself, Mr. Winterbank. <laughs> and who was it that walked out of here with the wrong violin before? <laughs> Well, when the agreed storage period has passed without repayment, articles are forfeited, you see. So I have to keep a close eye on the date. It's something of a pawnbroker's obsession, you might say. Oh yes, I can see you're very dedicated to your job. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll get the door. Three globes of gold. Is that some sort of charm? Dear me, have you not seen that sign before? We've only lived here for two months next door to this place. No, never. 
The three golden balls are, in fact, Great Britain at least, are, in Great Britain at least, the universal universal sign of pawnbrokery. Oh, no shit. Uh, British people in the chat, is this still true? I mean, I'm sure pawnbrokers are not as big of a deal as three they were this time. Three golden balls! <laughs> Two are... lesser balls, one <laughs> tiny ball, zero now balls. <laughs> And at last, there's one big ball. There are more than 700 such establishments in the capital, all showing the same sign. Huh. And Morgan Vick in the chat says that that's the symbol in the U.S. too. I've three golden. Balls. I have seen a couple of pawn shops in my lifetime, but <laughs> Zach hasn't seen a whole lot of balls though. Pretty Wizard says, "Don't forget Jowd's balls." <laughs> How could I? He lost them uh, in that terrible day. Bubbles. Oh, I see. <sighs> I had not imagined your <laughs> ignorance was so profound. Okay, well, like, calm the fuck down. Oh. Well, what is the significance of the three golden balls, then? Does it have some special meaning? If you collect four more, do you get to summon a dragon and make a wish? <laughs> That is entirely unimportant here, dear madam. Irrelevant, even. Again, Shumps, you can just say you don't know the ant. Yeah. You mean you don't know. <laughs> um, okay, what's this machine? Look at this. What could this lovely, big, shiny box be? That, my dear madam, is a music box. Surely you have such things in your own country. Oh, my... Yes, but I've certainly never seen one so large before. That's what she said. <laughs> Shall we listen a while? Ah, what a sublime sound. It's like the music of angels. I've never heard anything like it before in my life. This particular specimen is of, the, is of the larger variety, commonly found in public houses and restaurants. There is a metal disc inside of which notes to be played, on which the notes to be played are recorded. Simply by replacing the disc with another, any music you care to imagine can be played. My goodness, what a simply delightful machine! <laughs> Indeed. Though their popularity has waned recently, with the development of the gramophone, of course. Ah, <sighs> science and technology advance at such an overwhelming pace. <laughs> What's this machine? Look at this! Whatever could it be used for? Um, uh, I have no idea. Ah. There's a small catch just here. Look. What's the catch? We're going to open it, aren't we? <gasps> oh my! That's amazing! It has some sort of spring-loading mechanism. Which we'll never manage to pull back to the way it was before. It's a camera? Oh, binoculars, probably. Hmm? Uh, what are you two doing? What? Us? Nothing! No, no, nothing at all! Whatever this device is, it seems to have a pair of little windows to look through. I feel as though I've seen something rather similar to this elsewhere. You mean like the thing we just looked at? Oh shit! What? Only tuppence for it! That ain't fair, and you know it! The article is barely worth a penny, miss! I cannot offer you more! I appreciate you doing the Swedish voice over a line that's written for Cockney. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like there's an argument brewing out over by the counter. Come on! That can't be right! Have you even had a proper butcher's at it? I've seen all I need to see, young girl. Oh, it's Gina! I'm saying it's Gina, isn't it? Yeah. Yay. Say hi to Gina. I'm happy. I just really like her design. Oh, wait, <clears throat> don't we know... I'm sure I recognize her. Oh, yes, it's the young lady from Mr. McGilded's trial two months ago. Feels like two years ago to me. <laughs> it's like we played a game and a half since then. Hey, it was only a year and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, wow. Jesus, what did I do for Mr. Meek? Her name is Gina Lestrade, my lord. That's pretty dead on. She's a chancer. Earns her crust among large crowds, relieving people of their purses. What's commonly called a pickpocket. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, I like your new jacket. Gordon Bennett! You lot! Sorry, that is not. No. Stop Hello, her. Stop I hope her. You well. <laughs> She's Don't got a gun! <laughs> I really want the one guy to take it and be like, I'll do it, I swear! <laughs> I. I'd be a gunfight in here with Trina. <laughs> no, Mr. Windebank, that's a smoke gun! <laughs> a revolver with one round in it and a smoke gun. <laughs> Just get Revolver Ocelot in here. <laughs> I. What? You remember me then, do ya? Well, I remember being completely surrounded by smoke, that's for sure. So, what are you doing in here? Down and out, like the rest of us. Nothing to eat. Come to pop that black weasel. Sorry, coat. Have ya? Okay, can we stop with the coat stuff? What is it about Why this- Why is everyone shitting on my coat? What is it about this black uniform that makes everyone comment on it? Do I need to get a new, new ah, outfit? Good day. Unless I'm much mistaken. You would be the young pickpocket who stole our experimental smoke grenade launcher. Ah, Mr. Sholmes. So, you have something of value to pawn, do you? Allow me to see the article, and I shall negotiate with Mr. Windebank on your behalf. Pull the other one. I don't need no help from some stuck-up D. Get on my business. Go on, or I'll make trouble for you. <laughs> As you wish, Miss Lestrade. I will happily remove myself from your presence. He's really done it. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, thank God. We did he's it. gone. Oh, my God, we did it. He's we're... gone. Susato, we're finally free. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he comes back. I'm sorry, but as I said, there really is no room for negotiation here. What is it that... What is that thing he has in his hand? Some... It's a gun. It's a CD! Some kind of metal disc. And you! Go on! Leave me alone! Oh, Miss Lestrade, just pretend we aren't here. We shan't be offended in the slightest. Let me just peek over your shoulder and watch everything <laughs> you do. Susato san can really stand her ground when she wants to. Whatever. <laughs> Val did sure 10 bits thing. What's that in his hand? Some kind of metal gear. Oh. <laughs> All right, Gina, how have you been in the last year and a half? <laughs> <clears throat> Somehow, I didn't really think you were the sort of person who'd use a pawnbroker, Miss Lestrade. Yeah, well, I am, all right? I'm a Londoner, just like everyone else. Is that a problem, is it? Uh, no, no, not at all. It's just that, well... Oh, I get it. You know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. That thing probably don't even belong to her. Probably got another dive, didn't she? Yeah, I can I see... I mean, I wasn't going to say it out loud, but... Wait. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, I can see it written all over your Chevy, cha Chevy Chase. I mean, I'm sure it was a phrase which is somebody it? in the chat will explain to us. No, there's no way they just wrote Chevy Chase in here. Also, shout at, out in the chat if you know who Chevy at, Chase is. At 2020, in 2022, Chevy Chase jokes are all the rage. Yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. People just love that, that that famed British actor, Chevy Chase. Yeah, apparently it's it's rhyming slang for face. There you really? go. Well, I, I might have been thinking something along those lines. <laughs> Damn, Valdoodles. Oops. Valdoodles. 
Chevy Chase was my father. Call me Chevrolet Pursuit. Fuck, that's funny. That's pretty. I like that a lot. <laughs> that, that's what. That's one of those Googles. What's that's one of those like Google. What's his real name? Yeah. Like um, T <laughs> Pain's real name is Tylenol Pain Reliever. Yeah. God, that was <laughs> so Chase's good. Chevy Chase's real name is Chevrolet Pursuit. That's so good. Ah oh, shit, that's really good. You're not going to deny it, Mr. Narahodo. Well, no. I mean, she is a thief. All right then. I'm just gonna come out and ask you straight. Do you pawn things that you steal from other people? Well, um, I don't know how best to answer that, really. Um, <laughs> you can say yes, like we're cool. Suppose, sometimes. <laughs> You're not going to deny it either, Miss Lestrade. Fuck. Galactic Whale Shard says Cardi B is Cardigan Backyardigan. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Cardigan Backyardigan. Oh, that's really good. I think it was Machine Gun Kelly was like Machine Yard Gunnifer Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Listen, we all know that Cardi B is in the thick of it. Come on. Uh, I'm trying Cardi to know what some of my favorite one of those were. Cardi B cardiovascular bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, these are funny. But not this time, alright? I swear, that thing belongs to me. The disc that Mr. Winderbank is holding. No, the best one, sorry, sorry, I'll stop at this. The best one was Post Malone's real name is Postpone My Student Loans. Fuck! <laughs> that was the best one by far. Damn so glad I remembered it. That's Post really Malone's good. Loans. My Student Loans. <laughs> That's, That's really good. Though. Incredible. <laughs> I love all of these. Oh, it's incredible. Perhaps we should see what he has to say about all of this. Okay, goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Do we just examine him? Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Tell us about her disc. <laughs> her herniated disc. Tell us about her Beyblade. <laughs> Let it rip. Uh, Not like that. <laughs> Mr. Windebank, what exactly is this middle disc that Mr. Lestrade has brought in? It seems to have hundreds of tiny, tiny little bumps on its surface. Hey, it's going to play the music machine. Oh, wow. Well. Ah, this is a music disc, you say? For, is, for use inside a music box. In a music box? What? You don't even know what a music box is? <laughs> you Eastern lot, uh, you Eastern lot ain't too savvy, eh? So you're going to put her disc in this box? God damn it. I know what a music box is. I've just never seen one of these discs before. The small protrusions on the metal disc encode the tune to be played by the music box. You simply insert the disc and set the machine going and beautiful music plays. I love this like pose of his. It's really good to me. <laughs> it's so incredible. Tell us what tune is on this disc? Well, I'm afraid I couldn't tell you that. It's... I am number one from Lazy Town. <laughs> we are number one! <laughs> there are so many different types of music boxes, you see. British made, German, Swiss... <laughs> Swedish... <laughs> <laughs> we are number one! That's pretty good. I have no way of knowing which particular machine this disc was made for. Ah, I see. And that's it in a nutshell. I wouldn't have any customers for an item like this, even if the young lady forfeited it. Really, I'm already offering more than I should at a penny. That's a packet of lies. He told me he did. He said it was... Well... He? Who? The great I am? <laughs> Listen, he always walks with me, all right? <laughs> and he talks with me. <laughs> Never you mind. It just ain't right, that's all. 
That disc's worth good money. I know it is. There's only one set of divots in the music box because <laughs> but... he was carrying me, carrying the music the rest of the way. <laughs> carrying the melody. Well, then you'll have to try your luck at another pawnbroker's, won't you? Ah. <laughs> Let's talk about this girl in front of her face. So, uh, we'll so, talk. We have two of us. What's up with this chick? She's been in here before, of course, this little tattered demalion. That's I that's I've incredible. Never heard that. I love word that before. word. Tattered demalion, ragged or disreputable in appearance. Okay. Being okay. in a decayed state or condition. Okay. I see. And brought some dubious article or other with her every single time, I might add. <laughs> Dubious? What are you trying to say? I'm an honest customer, me. So, is there something dubious about this disc you brought in today? I started that sentence way too high. <laughs> <laughs> way too high, then I just go higher. So, is there something dubious about this disc you brought in today? What's the deal with this disc? Well, it only went out simple. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, what do you mean? What she actually brought in was a storage ticket. Ah, a storage ticket. So... Miss Lestrade has actually come to redeem an article from you today, is that right? Yeah, that's right. A girl like me has a lot of stuff what needs storing. Alright, yes, that's... Uh... All right, yes, that's definitely dubious. The article in question would have been forfeited at midnight tonight. But she gave me the ticket for it and repaid both the loan and the interest. I was obliged to return the article to her. But what was the article? Do tell us, Mr. Windebank. He won't do it. The little scamp is wearing it, Mum. Mm. Oh, it's the coat. It's the overcoat that she redeemed. Okay, nobody complains about her black overcoat. Oh. What? What's wrong with that? It fits, don't it? I mean, it's mine, so of course it does. I mean, you rolled up the sleeves quite a bit. So, what about the disc, then? How does that come into all of this? Genuinely, these are the most nosy people. Uh-huh. Being like, wait, so what's the deal? What are you doing here? What are you pawning? What is she pawning, Mr. Windebank? Tell us. All the personal information, please. <laughs> ah, the disc is something else. A new article to pawn, if the girl and I can agree on a price. I'm confused. I thought you said Miss Lestrade brought in a storage ticket today. It's really quite simple. You're just an idiot. Yes, the child brought me a storage ticket and the money owed on it, as you say. For this heavy black coat, which you returned to her, returned to her care, as I understood it. That's right, yes. And rather unsurprisingly, as soon as the little ragamuffin put the thing on, she went rifling through the pockets. Oh. You mean... What? Don't you know it's rude to stare at a lady? Ah, I see. So it came from the pocket of the overcoat, did it? If you mean this disc, then yes, exactly, ma'am. That's kind of funny that she stored the coat with the thing in it and then... And then it was like, hey, I want to sell this Store thing. this. And she immediately tried to pawn it for quite a high price as well. This is all rather suspicious, I think. Yeah, no shit, right? right? Give it up. <laughs> yeah, sort of I'm just trying to pawn something like anyone else would. Miss Lestrade, may I ask who deposited the overcoat here in the first place? Um, well, me. It doesn't really appear to be your size. Me old man. It's me old man's, ain't it? I feel like you don't have a father. Is it, Miss Lestrade? 
Yes, this is definitely all rather suspicious. I feel like you and Chris have something in common. Out of my way, please! Oh, another new character. I'm oh. sorry, this is straight up a JoJo character. Yeah, that literally looks like fucking Baron Zapelli. Yes. This guy is. That is, is Baron so, Zapelli. This guy is so white, it's actually blinding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard to look at this dude. He, look, he, he That looks like a Pokemon villain. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy and fucking Pewter should hang looks out. Like a, yeah. They could be rival team members. Yeah. <laughs> This guy leads the fucking, like, steel gym or something. <laughs> Who's this picture postcard English gentleman? Even Ryan's like, this guy's the most milk toast motherfucker I've ever seen. Oh, he's got a cane? Oh. Oh, wow. Fuck Incredible. me. Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. What's your problem, eh? There is no problem, as long as you remove yourself. I have a matter to, dis have a matter to discuss with the proprietor. Fucking Dougie Wolfington said this guy seasons his chicken with water. That's so fucking funny. God damn it. <laughs> well, you don't want to be too spicy. <laughs> this guy waters down his mayonnaise. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, mayo's, mayo's too spicy for this guy. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> and if you intend to make a problem of it, I shall see you outside, little girl, for the hiding you deserve. Oh my god, this man just said I'll beat your ass. I'll beat you, child. Look, ain't it obvious? I ain't done talking with him yet. If you think you're such a gent, you should know how to wait in line. Fucking got him, Gina. Got him. No comeback. Well... You are an impudent little brat, aren't you? As well as a pickpocket. Oh, I... shit. Who? Who? Who are you? How do you know who I am? Well, Gina, you shouldn't have said that. Now you're fucked up. The question is, how do you not know who I am? You haven't the courtesy even to remember the faces of your victims, it seems. Oh. oh what? Pickpocket would, what pickpocket would care to remember who they stole from? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> what? You Your mean marks, I... not people. From you? Broker? Um, yes, sir. I believe this filthy pocket thief has just redeemed an article from you now? Yes, yes, um... The article in question belongs to me. I demand for it to be returned at once. Oh my! Now that's a lie! What are you trying to pull? Give me back my overcoat, you wastrel. And needless to say... <laughs> Literally, he's This a is jo a Jojo -Jo character. character! What the fuck?! He's gonna summon his stand. Any music box discs, too. No! You, you can't have it! You just can't! It's me old man's. Or it was. Now it's mine! Goodness, Mr. Narahodo. This is a very awkward... Awkward... <laughs> Let's get out of here! Awkward! awkward. Susato, you're making it more awkward by saying that. Awkward! <laughs> Everyone's, oh. Everyone in the room just looks at them like, will you shut up? This is so awkward, Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> this is a very awkward situation. Ooh, awkward. What is it they say here? Awkward kappa? <laughs> awkward kappa. <laughs> That's good. Ooh, somebody get me a cucumber because it's so awkward. <laughs> Yes, I think perhaps we should hear both sides of the story in a little more detail. Ooh, Ryan, you're a both sideser. Ooh. Hey, listen, <laughs> Ryan the all, centrist. Listen, Ooh. all sides. Of this. <laughs> Ryan the centrist. All sides oh, of the boy. story matter. Mm, ooh, <laughs> hate that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I guess let's let's look at the whitest man in the world. 
the picture postcard gentleman. Tell us about your... What's the energy they use in JoJo? Oh, Hamon. Yeah, the Hamon, Hamon energy. <laughs> nice! Excuse me. That's a baseball. Oh, it... <laughs> that's a thinker! <laughs> Excuse me, but who are you? One would expect the Inquirer to introduce himself first. Yeah, but you, like, made a big deal about who you were, so, like, you know. Though clearly you are not British, so perhaps our ways are foreign to you. I mean, that's, yeah, I'm a foreigner. Oh, sorry, yes, we're from the Empire of Japan. We're studying here. Oh, yes, Japan. I've heard talk of the place. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah! This man just danced. He just... He did the wobble baby wobble. Listen, I'm gonna have to fucking copy this guy. Incredible. Its inhabitants live on some fiery brown colored soup dressed up like exotic spices. So yeah, you, you, you really don't... You think anything is spicy, don't you? Yeah, he does. That exotic spice is pepper. <laughs> yeah. You might be thinking of somewhere else. And what was that theatrical gesticulation about? Perhaps. Anyway, if you are a gentleman, sir, you offer your own name first before inquiring after the name of another. Of, of course, yes. I'm Ryanosuke Narahodo. I'm a lawyer. Well, a student of law, really. My name is Susato Mikotaba. I am Mr. Narahodo's assistant. I see. Haha, <laughs> you told me your name and now I'm not going to tell you mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write your names in this death note. <laughs> oh, my name? My. No! My oh, name no. is... Hold on, hold on. Let, no. me get, let me get it out. Let me get oh. it out. My name is Benedict. Yes, Egert Benedict. <laughs> Oh, the your name is a one. Your name is Eggert, and two. Your name is Eggs Benedict. <laughs> oh, you're is such a loser. Eggert Benedict Crunderdunder. <laughs> well, I guess the yoke's on us, folks. Oh, uh, we're cracking up about this. Holy shit! It's like walking on eggshells here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Listen, God. this guy really is the whites. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, this might be the most Ace Attorney name yeah. that has ever existed, I think. Delusa Game Richard Tempet saying Eggert Benedict. Might as well call him Call Cashian? Cashian? Call Cashian. Cashian. Oh, that's so funny. Fuck. Call Cashian. Oh, that's yeah. so good. That is good. Fluff Cup Cheetah Vitzig, and he's claiming that Gina poached his coat. Hey! hey that's good. That's good. That is really good. Uh, Jack, Jack of Manning says, Chitim Vitzig, hello, yes, my name is Guy Incognito. Oh, also, Chrono <laughs> Wizard said, this guy better scramble before he gets <sighs> folded like an Amelie. Damn it, that's good. That is really good. Enchanté. <laughs> uh, and I missed it before, but infamously dorky said, he's so bland, he doesn't even put beans on his toast. He doesn't even <laughs> toast his bread. <laughs> he doesn't even he doesn't even bean his bread. Oh, my God. What are you doing if you don't bean your bread? Again, I just, uh, just flabbergasted this character design right now. He's so refined in how he holds himself, and yet he... And how he speaks. But that name is... Suspicious. Oh, and Ryan knows it's not right. Yeah. No. To the matter at hand. Yeah, I feel like this guy is just like, oh, this guy doesn't know English very well. I'm going to make up the most fake ass name I can come up with Eggert Benedict. <laughs> what the fuck? My overcoat. Return it at once. To someone with the style to carry it off. Ugh. Every move he makes, every step he takes, I'll be watching him. Wow, they they actually... Wow, yeah. 
They went for it. I, wow. I, I, yeah, I know. I like made the joke yeah. and looked away, yeah. and then I looked back, and they made the joke. That is exactly what they went for. Yeah. Holy, holy shit. Shit. Wow. I'm I can't even. I. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We wrote the game. Mm-hmm. Every movie makes every breath he takes. I can't stand watching him. <laughs> nice. Okay, I guess that's all we have to talk about with you. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, oh, we already talked I to you. I'm done with this guy. I'm okay. done with you. I guess we're just talking to Gina then. So, Gina, are you going to give the coat back or like what? 